Hi guys, uh, I wanted to touch base with you on a couple things about the EasyGo golf cart. As you recall, I made a video not too long ago, uh, sometime, about the proper maintenance of the batteries of the golf cart itself, the 36 volt and the charging system, uh, cleaning the terminals and making sure that your water level was proper, which is about a quarter inch off the plates. That makes sure that no air gets to the plates. That way they don't like uh, get rusted, which basically kills the batteries in a nutshell. But after I did that video, um, something came to a head. I could not charge the batteries to full level. And the problem I had was this guy right here, uh, follow me, uh, this EasyGo charger, which is supposed to be a piece of crap basically. It, it's really light and uh, easy to use, but apparently it's disposable. So uh, I did a lot of blogging on Google and, and, and I really looked into the codes because this particular unit has this little light. Uh, that is actually a light by the way, right there, a little dot you see. Anyways, it would go green for about 10 hours and then turn red and start blinking at me. So I looked up the codes and I got a lot of different information on the codes because it could be this, it could be that, and I was like, Fuck, you know, I need to get this fixed because the season's about to start and I don't know what's wrong with this thing because it won't charge. I'm like, is it the charger? Is it the batteries? Because it could be either one because as you guys know, uh, anything that blinks or gives a code, it could be still a few different things, which means you still have a lot of work to do to figure it out. So anyway, I went to my sister's house today and I'm borrowing her, uh, it's right here, as a matter of fact, this is the good one. Uh, that is the uh, old school style. It has the gauge. It's not plugged in right now, but this is the one you want. It weighs like 50 pounds probably. It's really heavy, but you can actually repair that one yourself. This one you cannot. This is disposable, but it weighs about as much as a carton of cigarettes. It's amazing the difference. The problem that I had was is I did not know why this golf cart was not charging. So what I did was, is I went ahead and got her charger, and uh, this is where the story gets interesting. I did everything right. I used this, I'm going to show you. I used this, which is uh, actually, oh wow, it says I got it from Meyer. I thought it was Walmart. It was actually Meyer, which is the same thing. They're getting it from the same place. But if you read the fine print, it's, uh, there's a problem here. This distilled water, this distilled water actually has impurities in it. One of those being salt. And uh, you cannot use salt in any type of rechargeable battery. It will actually deteriorate the plates. I did not know that. I found that out on a blog on Google. See, so where we ended up next was I had to troubleshoot this because my golf cart will not take a full charge. As a matter of fact, the batteries are completely dead right now. Reason being is uh, I'm going to put a little light on this. As you can see, I have six 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 volt batteries which you know equals up to 36 volts the problem is is that if you have a bad battery or one that's not taking a full charge what you end up with is six batteries that won't work because five of those batteries are operating off which I found out to be this guy right here would only take a two volt charge that was the max I opened up the plate uh, the cover, the vent cover, and it turns out that, that thing was dry. Well, I filled them up perfectly. I did everything I was supposed to do. Didn't realize the distilled water wasn't actually distilled, so it dried the plates. Therefore, the max charge was 2 volts. The rest of the battery said, we're not working alone, we need all six. So I kind of screwed myself on that by paying attention in class, which the class was kind of bullshit because I ended up not charging my pack. You need all six batteries to do the same thing or this system will shut down on you. So what I'm doing right now is this. I have uh, this, and this is gonna be a bit difficult, but follow me. Uh, this charger, which is now up to, let's see if I get that front of the light. I hope this, hope, <laughs> hope this is working out. It's really not. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's showing about Two, a uh, little over, what, what would you say that is, about three volts? Well, here's the interesting thing. You can't even depend on those because that was like a $40 battery charger, which is working right now. But watch this. Uh, I got this, this little guy right here. Whoops. I got this guy right here for Christmas present from my uh, 
niece, Alicia, and it is a multimeter. Well, it's turned off right now, as you can see. But watch this. I want to show you something. You can't depend on everything. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to unplug this battery charger for a second, all right? And, you know, just to make sure. But, actually, I'm not going to. I'm just going to unplug the cables here. Um, probably going to need some light for this. Garage is a little bit dark right now because i got these damn Barack Obama bulbs. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect them. Positive first, obviously. And hook it up here. This is plastic. That's plastic. And uh, I'm going to run my voltmeter. And I'm going to show you guys something. This is kind of interesting. I think you'll like this. First thing I'm going to do, uh, hopefully I don't blow anything up while I'm doing this. That would be great. I've already had enough trouble as it is. Uh, I'm going to turn it on, all right. and as you can see, I got it set to, let's see if I can get that on, there we go, alright, that's a 2, this is a 20 on the DB, and uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to test the voltage of this battery, the actual voltage, not what that battery charger says, because <sighs> I'm just getting tired of depending on garbage, it's becoming a habit at this point. But uh, this is actually the negative side right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right there, see if I can keep it in place. All right. This is going to be really cool if it works because I get to show you something. Now I'm going to hit the positive over here. All right. I hope you can see that. Now watch this. The battery charger is showing 2 volts. I'm finally up and over 5. You see that? You can't make that kind of stuff up. So it's actually working. Here's the reason I'm showing you this. I need to turn this off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Whoop. I need to turn that off. It's hard to do with one hand, guys. Trust me. This is not something that uh, I intended to do, but I want to keep it for the record. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back on negative and this one back on positive. Keep that charge going. There we go. All right. As you noticed, I got uh, the uh, negative disconnected back here. It, it, right there. I hope you can see that. See that? It's not connected to the post. The reason I'm doing that is because this battery, that battery, that battery, this one, and this one are not connected in sequence. That way I can charge this battery all by itself because, get this, if you don't already know this, the weakest link is the most powerful battery that you're going to have in the six pack. All easy goes, it doesn't matter if it's 36 or 48. It's irrelevant. The weakest, it's like a remote control. If you have a remote control with two bad batteries in it, and you stick a brand new battery in it, just one, it's still only going to work as good as the weakest battery. Well, the golf carts work the same way. And I found this out the hard way. So that battery is actually taking a charge now, and once it gets up to 6 volts, it will be an equalized system. Therefore, I can then put that charger, which is my sister's charger on it, and that charger right there is one of the good ones, by the way. I can then put that charger on there. And if I get a full charge, I will then know that it was not my old charger that was bad. Because that old charger may still be working. I'm going to follow this up a little bit later. This is a hit and miss because I'm not a maintenance mechanic. I'm not a, a golf cart mechanic. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a battery person, a water person. I don't know what. I'm just going by what I'm learning the old school way. But I, even I know that if you have six batteries trying to run the entire system of a golf cart <laughs> and one of the batteries is weak, they're all going to run as weak as that one battery. So with what I've done so far, I've got that guy charged up to five volts. Once it hits six, I'm going to put my sister's charger on it. And if I can get the old charger to read a solid green light that guy right there which you'll see later I will have diagnosed and fixed the problem properly to where I can use this golf cart all 2015 season without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars so the quest is have I done the diagnostic right will it work and if it does work I'm going to take full credit for it because I've been beating my brains out trying to figure this problem out because this thing worked great and now I'm down to distilled water that was impurified. I'm down to a charger and six batteries. 
and the PDS system, which all easy goes 2009 and above, have with the tow uh, maintenance switch and the run switch. So it's been a long haul, but I think I'm getting close. Just so you know, I am going to follow this video up, and I can't wait to do it because if I figure this problem out on my own, I will have literally saved a thousand dollars doing it. And if you know anybody with an EasyGo golf cart, 36 or 48 volt, irrelevant, you can share this video with them and save them a bunch of money too so that they can have a great season and put that money back into the firewood where it belongs or their cooler. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated, I promise. Uh, I probably got an hour left before this thing hits six volts. And when it does, we're going to get back to the chargers. Wish me luck. Stay tuned. And have a great camping season. Thanks for camping with Torp. I can't wait to see how this turns out. For better or for worse. Thanks guys.